Hello there. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert various old British telephones to the modern British plug and socket system, how you need to convert them inside and how some telephones differ. All these three phones here which at first uh, glance will look the same are actually different. Um, the only one that was a GPO uh, telephone originally that was on the public network was this one. These other two would have been on private exchanges in office blocks or big companies or things like that. This telephone here is a post office issued uh, model 706L. It's a very early one because it's not got the little arrows behind the dial. Later ones had arrows behind the dial like that. But this one's not got them. Um, as you can see, it's just blank, which shows it's from the late 50s, early 60s, basically. The next phone that we have here is an Ericsson built phone it is an ericsson model n1900 e244 as supplied to telephone rentals so that's an ericsson n1900 which was basically a private version of the 706 so that's the n1900 and the next phone we have is another ericsson phone which is the N1065, and you'll be saying, there's something a bit wrong with that. Well, basically, with these telephones, it's part of the design that you could turn the dial upside down and fit this adapter thing here, which would make the handset be able to rest like that. And you turn the telephone up like that, knock the front two feet out leaving the two little round holes there and then you can mount that on your wall and that is an ericsson n1065 e1 which was basically their model number for a wall mounted phone now some say the n1065 e1 which is this is the wall mounted version of the N1900 which is that I'm going to show you that internally they can be different so watch out because the rules for converting one don't necessarily apply to the other okay I'm going to take the tops off these phones take the cases off and then we'll have a little look inside them Okay, I've now taken the tops off the three phones. Um, I'll just go over again what they are. This is a GPO issued 706L. This is an Ericsson N1900 E244 as supplied to telephone rentals. As you can see on the back of the case there, it says telephone rentals there. And this one on this side is another Ericsson phone. This is an N1065E1, which is the wall mounted version, some people say, of the N1900. But that is not strictly true, as I will show you here in just a moment. Now, I want you to note that the two Ericsson phones here, the 1065, and the 1900 are both plastic based phones that are conventionally wired. The 706 phone here has got a metal base and it is wired on a circuit board. Basically that doesn't make any difference to the way that you put the connections on or for the wiring that I'm going to be talking about in this video you'll notice that the 706 and the n1065 are the most similar 
look at the regulator board here which can be unplugged as you probably know they're both in those two phones the N1900 hasn't got one it's got a slot down here for a regulator but where there should be normally five little wired sockets down there there's only three that are wired on that you see because it's not actually designed for a regulator to fit in it it's designed to work without the regulator so the 706 and the 1065 well basically you wire those the same for the modern bt system with the plug and sockets when it comes to strapping the terminals together and by strapping i mean these little things here that you can take out and put between two terminals the strapping is the same now when we refer to terminals on these phones and i'll show you on this one because it's a little bit clearer when we refer to the terminals on these phones we refer to them with numbers this is t1 right up to t9 this is t10 right up to t19 and on this particular model you can see it's helpfully printed onto the circuit board for us so t1 t2 t3 t4 right up t9 and 10 11 12 13 etc right up to t19 okay so when i talk about put something onto t whatever number now you know where you're putting it right so the 706 and the N1065 are basically the same. Now, from all these phones, I've removed the line cords at the moment and just left the handset cords wired up just for clarity, just so you can see. But you will see, we'll talk about the straps first of all. On the N1065, you have strapped T5 to T6 then t8 to t9 you also have strapped t16 t17 t18 and t19 it's exactly the same on the 706 t5 to t6 t8 to t9 t16 17 18 and 19 they are the only terminals that are strapped together. You also have a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor between T4 and T5. And you see on this one as well, between T4 and T5, which is the N1065. Right, moving on to the N1900. I'll just get the line cord, I'll just get the curly cord rather out of the way there. You'll see it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. We've still got T16, 17, 18, and 19 strapped together. We've still got T5 and T6 strapped together. We've still got T8 and T9 strapped together. And we've still got a 3.3K resistor between T4 and T5. But we have also got a strap between T2 and T3. Okay, a strap between T2 and T3. Now look at where the handset cord is. On the 706, and also on the N1065, the handset curly cord, the red wire goes to T1, the green wire to T2, the blue wire to T3, and the white wire to T10. On the N1065, it's the same, red to T1, green to T2, blue to T3, and white here to T10. But on the N1900, because you've got that extra strap between T2 and T3, 
it's different. Red is the same going to T1. Green is the same going to T2. White is the same going to T10. But blue, which on the other phones, went to T3, as you can see. On this one, blue goes to T11. It's under there. Look, can you see that? Blue is on T11. Because obviously, if you put it onto T3 there, because there's that strap, it would end up connecting it to the green. So blue has to go to T11 for your handset. So that is why the N1900 and the N1065 might be slightly different. This is the N1900E244 variant. This is the N1065E1 variant. There may be other variants, but those are just the two that I happen to have here. Okay, I've put the line cord back on the N1065E1 here, as you can see, that's this cord here, this, this uh, cream coloured one. Um, I've only put it back on that phone for now, I've not put it back on the other two, because the, the line cord is wired the same on all of the different phones. Now, the N1900, as we've already said, the handset cord goes to slightly different terminals, but the line cord goes to the same terminals irrespective of whether it's a 706, an N1900E244, or an N1065E1. And the line cord goes as follows. The blue of the line cord goes to T6 here. Yeah, of course, T6 is strapped to T5, so you could put it on T5 if you wanted to, but we normally put it on T6. The red of your line cord goes to T8 here. See, red. Again, that's strapped to T9, so you could put it on to T9 if you wanted to, but we just normally put it on to 8. So it's blue to 6, red to 8. The white of your line cord goes to T18 here. Of course, 16, 17, 18 and 19 are strapped together. So it could go on to any of those, 16, 17, 18 or 19. But we just normally put it on to 18. Yeah, here. And the green of your line cord, which is basically unused, that goes on to terminal T15 down here and that doesn't go anywhere basically that's unused so if you've got a three core line cord which some people do have that one will be unused now line cords sometimes are different colors so I'll explain to you what they do the red and the white here that go to T 8 and 18 they are your two incoming um, wires basically for your line um, what come down the outside of your house what uh, BT would call the drop cable basically they are the two incoming wires of your line and they are the only two that are absolutely strictly necessary to get calls down your phone but the blue one because of the way our system works here in the UK that is to do with your ringer basically the blue is to do with your ringer and if you follow it through if you trace the wires through you will find it does go to the bells so again blue to T6, red 
to T8, white to T18, and green, which was unused, to T15 in there, which is basically an unused terminal in the back of the phone. If your line code just has three colors, your red and your white are your line, and it doesn't really matter which way they are round, they're just normally done that way around for standardization. And blue, that is your ringer wire. So that's it, that is how you do it. That's how you convert these telephones to the modern British telephone system. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please subscribe for more videos in the future and uh, keep watching. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next video.